So this is going to be a quick video just to show people how to kind of get rid of your navigation bar and how to do some mods to the status bar. You can actually remove that as well. But um, yep, so let me show you. So first thing you're going to have to do is download. There is an app right there. It's called and Andromeda, I believe. And you're going to install that app. And then you're gonna install this other one right here called Substratum, 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 whatever it's called, but you're gonna download that app. And just to show you right now, um, I'm running Android Oreo 8.0, but I have some little custom icons that I got. And if you notice here, my calendar is actually just white. The clock is white. Um, and a lot of other features on here are white, so like even if I go to Google, it's kind of cool, but if you want a different look and you kind of want to go for like a dark theme or a, yeah, like a dark theme, then what you're going to do, like I said, first download that app, and then after that, you're going to go to this one, click here, and then so this has a lot of different themes that you can actually add to your phone. And um, so this is one of my favorites, Swift Black. It gives it like a night mode. And then System Mods is gonna be the one that allows you to remove your, like the status bar, the, so for example, if I wanted to remove the status bar completely, I would go here to Android System. And then on Nav Height, I would just put it as zero. And of course, before you do this, you do wanna make sure that you do have like another app so to navigate around your phone. So you don't want to get rid of your navigation buttons and then you don't have any way to get around your phone and then you're stuck. There's always a way you could probably just use Bixby to get around maybe, but yeah, still want to download that. So, uh, let's see. So then, yeah. And then also there's, this is where you can actually, under system UI, has a lot of different themes. Remove the status clock, remove the status battery icon, and just for the record, my phone is not rooted. So you can do it without being rooted. And so that's the one, Remove Nav Bar Immersive. So that's the one that I have. Um, I actually have a lot of different, let's see. If I go to Manager, it shows me all of the different ones I have. So let's see, I have a lot of this, the Swift Black, where it basically gives it like a dark theme for all of these apps. And let's see. Okay, and if you go to the bottom, these are the ones that I added. So remove the status battery, all of this stuff. With mine, instead of actually deleting the status bar, I wanted to keep it, but I just wanted the clock to be in the middle. And I didn't want it to say AM or PM or whatever. Yes, this is super late, but it's okay. So you're gonna enable all of those or select to toggle all overlays. And then you're gonna click that and enable the selected and now watch and see. So there were some other apps that I was trying that where I would it would it would kind of like hide the navigation bar and then as soon as I swipe up, I would see it again and I was like, no, that's not what I want. And booyah, there we go. So there goes that. So that's the style I wanted. But now, what about the navigation bar? Is that gonna work? Booyah. Yep, it works. So that's the one I like to use, and I have the all-in-one gestures to get around, and usually that one's pretty, pretty good. Um, oh, so let me show you this. So now, if I go in my calendar app, now it's a dark theme. Looks pretty cool. And if I go into my clock, dark theme, and it actually let me pick the color that I wanted to use as well. So, like right there, I can use that color or whatever, red, blue, purple, green, yellow, whatever you want. And let's see, clock, I already did that. Uh, let's check out Google now. So to me, I like that black look. It looks pretty cool. So let's see, if we go to the Play Store. So this is another thing. So the only bummer about this one is that, well, first thing, uh, you can see the dark theme in the Play Store. But 
I didn't do the dark theme. I didn't apply it to the keyboard, and this is why. So, so that's my regular keyboard, which I like. But, oh yeah, you get that extra little bar, and that's only on the keyboard for some reason. So hopefully they can fix that where it'll actually just push this a little more down. But when I did apply the dark theme to the keyboard, all of this was all super dark, but then this bar was still white. And I tried to apply like a nav bar um, app on it and see if I could just do like a black color or something so it blends in more, but nothing worked. It kept saying that I don't have a nav bar. Um, so yeah, so that kind of stinks. But that's the only thing, it's just with that, other than that, you're not gonna see that space even when you, uh, let's see. Yeah, even right here, there's not that space. It's literally as far down as it can be. Um, what else, what else, what else? But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, and then of course, whenever, if you do wanna go back to your stock, all you have to do is come here and select to toggle all the overlays. And you're just gonna hit change overlay status. So if you do wanna go back and you get scared, you're like, oh no, what did I do? Or you do something weird, just hit that and then it'll just take your phone back to normal. So not too hard. But if you can't make up your mind and you wanna go right back to it, and then you enable that again. But I think it's a pretty cool app that allows you to kind of get rid of that navigation bar, like for real, for real, except on the keyboard for some weird reason. But um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So leave a comment if you have any questions, if you want to know some links or whatever. So, because I believe to do this, you're going to have to use a computer. It actually wasn't hard at all. And I'm not real tech savvy or whatever, but I was able to do it. And yeah, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. But I think it requires like a ADB command and something else I forgot. But I literally just Googled it and saw a forum that actually had the information. So it had like step-by-step -step steps. <laughs> So then I just follow those and then booyah, it worked. So let me know what you think about this. Oh, and this is my favorite launcher. Look at this, it looks so cool. I don't know what the, oh, there it is. It looks so cool. But okay, so that's how I have my phone. Um, Galaxy Note 8 running Oreo, no nap bar.